anywhere and I the way that I see it is it's my job it's our job it's your job as well in whatever it is you do to let the flow come through in that way where it can't not let the flow come through in that way where it can't not and so as a messenger speaker coach any kind of person who's doing any kind of business on the internet if you're thinking outside of that if you're thinking of things you think you need to do or you're trying to like propel your own butt out of the chair to do it you just you're doing the uphill difficult version and it's not going to change and what I'm here to do is to remind you that there's a way where you turn away from all of it. You ignore all of it, like all of the stuff that you've got on your little list there of things you think you need to do. And what you do instead is the thing that you can't not, the thing that's just coming through. And whether it's honestly, like honestly, whether or not it's whether or not you jump on a new social media platform. I mean, Clubhouse came along. I didn't jump on that. I did set up a bio and then I never did anything with it. I never once joined or participated in a clubhouse and I never once ran one. I set up a bio. It didn't feel like flow for me. I just, I just didn't do it. And I probably spent the first few months of that whole trend thinking like, oh, maybe I should, right? Like everyone's on board with this. Everyone's doing the thing. Maybe I should hop on it. And I just never got around it to it. Well, guess what? My business continu continued to produce the millions of dollars from flow that it just does and did. And I don't put that down. I don't credit that. What's happening here? I'm getting comfortable. I'm rearranging myself. I don't credit that to the fact that I already had a platform. Well, obviously I did. But how did that platform come about? How did my audience come about? How did I have in the first place people wanting to listen to what I have to say? I'm just watching what's happening on the street. Where I'm sitting in my house, I can look through my kitchen and out my front gates to the street. So, just. So, I think, here's the deal, right? You waste so much time when you're out there trying to figure out what your next move should be that's going to move this business along. Because every single move that you make that's off a list or an idea of what you should do or every single move you make that's off a list or an idea of what's trending or what's popular to do is a move that takes you further out of the flow and the supernatural tapped in genius of being you. And the reality is, and I've been saying this all week, I've really dropped some very fiery, well, tapped in, I guess, is the best way to say it, live streams this week. The reality is that some of us just came here, and if this is you, like, own it. Say it right now in the comments. Just unapologetically take charge of that. Some of us just came here to do that supernatural tapped in stuff that other people cannot understand, are not meant to understand, and it's got nothing to do with them. And if you're living your life or building your business from a perspective of you need to make it palatable to the people who are not your true people, or you need to make it understandable, or you need to make it make sense to the people who it doesn't make sense to, what you are doing is you are ignoring simple rules firstly like actually simple productivity rules like the 80 20 rule for example but you're ignoring supernatural truth which there's some of us and you know who you are and if you're in my space it's probably you some of us came here to let something out that the world has just never seen or heard of in that way and that there is a unique way that it gets channeled through you and filtered through you that can only be through you Nobody else could share the message or teach the thing in the way that you do. You know, one of my clients was messaging me the other day, sent me a little audio about just how much she's loving the insane downloads already that have started coming through in our first training in the Play Life Rule Breaker Society. So I taught the first live training module one yesterday. There's a module each week. This course is closing, closing, closing. I just extended. I went into a bit of a vortex the last day and didn't do any like last chance to join type emails or reminders. I just um, was doing other stuff. I was doing family stuff, actually, and then flow stuff and God stuff. And so I've extended for just a couple of days. Absolute last chance, though, because the trainer's left the station. It's leaving the station. It's pulling out. So six weeks live with me, the Play Life Rule Breaker Society. Let's tear it all down and build something actually fun. And this is a whole other type of supernatural tapped in um, truth about what it really takes to be wildly successful from purpose and from who you really are in business, yeah? 
So I'll drop a little comment about that now over on Facebook. And if you're on Instagram, you can go check it out afterwards at the Katrina Ruth show.com forward slash play life society. And if anyone wants to type that in right now and help me out, you could go ahead and do that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But one of my clients messaged me and she was just like, whoa, right? Like the downloads, the receiving, you know, the fact that I'm, I am just tapped in in the way that I'm tapped in and it can't be denied. And she was excited about that. Obviously, why wouldn't you be? But something she said was, you know, that she had then gone along and listened to, I can't remember who she said, but some other like, like really big though, spiritual teacher, um, who was teaching it, teaching essentially supernatural truths, but from a more masculine perspective or just a different way to how I would obviously teach it, but how it just completely lined up and it matched. So the point is when you're in your flow, when you're sharing that true truth, that you truth, that only you can share with the world and that you are meant to share with the world, it's not that nobody else ever taught on exactly that thing. Obviously, it's not that, but it's the fact that nobody can let it through in the way that you can. Nobody can do it in the way you can do it. Nobody is going to channel, filter through, download and release into the physical the stuff that your spirit taps into when you go into that supernatural part of you that truth is just can't be stopped, can't be and shouldn't be. And the question is, are you doing it though? Because as much as you are the one who's going to let it out completely different to everybody else, at the same time, you not doing it means it's not being done. You not doing it means it's not being done. You not doing it means it's not being done by you. All right, I'm trying to just share this over onto my Facebook. That's what I'm slightly distracted by down here. So let's just get that done because I forgot to press share beforehand. Okay, so you know that you're brought here to let something through you that just goes beyond. It goes beyond what can be understood by the 99.99% of people out there, even those who come into your space Maybe they, you know, could potentially learn something from you or maybe you feel like you should sign that person up or something like that. It goes beyond that. And a lot of the time, the truth is, it goes beyond what you even understand. Are you with me? You know when you have something start to come through you and maybe at first you're talking, you're going live like this or you're, I don't know, having a conversation with a client or maybe you've been teaching a training in a course or something like that or you're chatting behind the scenes. It's nothing to do with business. This happens to me all the time with the people in my personal life because I really only keep cool supernatural people in my personal life. So you know when you're, you're kind of in your mind and you're talking about something, exactly how Alexandra gets it. You guys get it. Everyone who gets it pretty much, I would say. Um, and then something takes over. Well, what is it that takes over? Ideally, well, for me, I know it's the, my own spirit tapped into the Holy Spirit, right? In some way, shape or form, what we're talking about is your own spirit taking over, your inner knowing, that supernatural part of you, which is just part of who you are. Whether or not any other spirits are part of the party is kind of a different part of the conversation. Depends on the person, depends on what you've got up in your spirit. So I'd be cognizant of that. But when it starts to come through, something I had to learn a long time ago, particularly as pertains to business, is to let go of self-consciousness to just hand it over and to stop concerning myself with it. Because if my mind had a look in to half the stuff that I've said and poured forth over the years on the internet, I would run screaming for the hills. And I have like metaphorically run screaming for the hills many times when I've jumped off a live stream like this, I've had what I would call a vulnerability hangover depending what came through, because sometimes it was so full on, so powerful, so tapped in. And then I also tend to start telling a lot of random, crazy, and sometimes inappropriate stories. And I go way too raw and vulnerable, I think, or I don't, whatever. But there's certainly been enough times over the years where the supernatural power of what came through, and these days, praise the Lord, it's all coming through from the right place from God's spirit in me, so it's not like I'm sharing something that I shouldn't be sharing. But sometimes it still feels like too personal of a reveal. Sometimes it feels like I'm exposing, you know, the raw bloody truth of my own spirit. Bloody is in dripping with blood, bloody, not like a curse word. Um, and even if it's not that, then it can feel like if you start thinking too much, I sound like a crazy person or I'm not getting to the point. The amount of times I've kind of like had a little thing in my head as I've been teaching, sharing, preaching over the years where the back of my mind is going, you sound ridiculous, you look ridiculous, 
you're not getting to the point, you're being repetitive, you're, you're just being boring or lame. I have had that many times as I've helmed a business that is known for producing, well, prolific content that is known for me being mentored to the best of the best in the purpose-driven entrepreneur space. I've been known in a way, in a way that I am known for many, many years now. So I've had a platform of authority, standing, respect, what have you, which has been amazing. But people wouldn't get, unless you're this kind of person, how many times I've shown up in that standing that I chose to say yes to because it's an appointment and a calling and an anointing. Yeah, you get it? So I chose to say yes. So you're choosing to say yes. The amount of times that I've shown up for that truth of what's inside of me and what can't not come out of me. And meanwhile, in the back of my head, I'm feeling ridiculous or I feel super self-conscious or there's just like two conversations going on. There's the one that I'm letting through from my spirit. And then there's the one in my mind that's, you know, talking trash at me. Now, not so much anymore, very rare anymore, because I didn't even understand for most of those years that that was a spirit that could actually be addressed and dealt with. So it gets better and better the further you walk your true path in God, obviously, right? But even still, if you really allow yourself to be spirit led and you allow yourself, you surrender your own rights to do things in your own mind, your own will, your own push, your own like human need or want to be seen a certain way or even even stuff that can seem on the surface of it like it's good or right, you know, like who wouldn't want to be teaching or sharing something or marketing something in a way that's, I can't even use this hand to like adjust my posture. I have to put all the weight on this one. Dead fish head. <gasps> Come back. It's coming back. Don't worry. Oh. Um, you know, it can come, like you can be putting yourself out there in your sales office, in how you're marketing and how you're doing social media, in the way you literally sit or dress or hold yourself, the things you talk about, the things you think you have to talk about. You, you can be fully on the one hand, theoretically, surrendered and submitted to what God wants to work through you and to truly doing the work that you're here to do in the way that you're meant to do it for the people who you're here to do with it, to do it with, or for. And then on the other hand, though, if your mind is used to being in the driver's seat and you continue to let it do so, then you could be that person that's showing up who's actually looking as though I'm trying to do a really good job to be studious, to be, you know, of service, to create good content, high value, you name it. And actually, though, your earnest desire to be, I don't know, like a good girl or a value-based entrepreneur or professional or whatever it might be, could be completely tapping you out of the magic that you're here to share, the true supernatural thing that God wants to pour through you. That's just not even about you and your own desires or needs or wants on a surface level because those true desires match God's. Well, you've got to start tapping in for that, though. So it's not even about your surface level, like, oh, I want to be seen a certain way or the mind thinking about what it is that people want or need or think that they want or need. Do you really think that most people out there know what they want or need? Some do because they're actually living that aligned life where they're tapped in. But mostly if you're trying to figure out what to sell or create to what you think people think that they want or need, then you're going surface level to respond to their surface level stuff. And then you're wondering why you don't have the flow in your business, your money, your life, your joy, your happiness or anything. And you're wondering why every single day, despite your efforts, which really might be quite, you know, um, what's the word? Like no, noteworthy, impressive even, so to speak, that despite your effort and your attention and your genuine, you know, like trying to do a good job, the whole thing is just flatlining. It's flatlining or it's just continually feeling like, oh, you know, like you feel restricted, you feel oppressed, you feel bound, you feel stuck, you feel a sense of like fighting your way out of a bag to move forward in your business, even though, and you can feel this way, even though you know you're doing good work in the world. So there's nothing like quote unquote wrong, but it's wrong by definition of the fact that you've not surrendered to just let it be. This is who I am. This is who I am. This is who I am. I actually don't even care about all that stuff over there. I'm just going to stop caring. I did a great little riff in the middle of my live stream the other day where I just went into a total ranty flow about 
the things that people actually don't care about that you think that they care about. I actually cut that. I, I like rewatched it and transcribed my own audio, which is a very unusual thing for me to do. I didn't think I've ever, ever done that before. I think I've had my team do it once or twice. Um, but I just had this whole riff on the things that don't matter. And I wrote it up. I'm going to post it as a like written post later because it's so important to understand that in business, people don't freaking care how it looks, how it smells, how it's packaged, how it's wrapped. And they actually don't in their spirit care about whether it supposedly meets their surface-based desires or needs. Because guess what? If you're creating or marketing to match what you think people need or want, like they think they need or want an outcome or a solution or whatever on this. And then, yep, sure, it loosely matches or it does match your skill set, your ability, your niche, your teaching or whatever. So now you're producing this thing that is not lighting you up on the inside. It's not, it didn't pour out of you, put it that way. It didn't propel you out of your chair. You chose in your mind to get out of the chair and go and do this thing. That is a big difference from you were propelled through your spirit to have to pour this thing out and now you're not even the one that needs to concern yourself with how it comes out because you're not the one who decided to get out of the chair and bring it to life. And so you're doing it that way where you got your own butt out of the chair. You decided to go and bring this thing to life that came from, yeah, your surface-based stuff. So meanwhile, you're dealing with the fact that you're not lit up alive and on fire in your own spirit because your spirit is not being fed by the work that you're doing. So therefore, you're desperately looking to have your spirit fed in other places, whether it be like consuming content that does actually give you that in some way, like mine, awesome, but you're meant to be generating it yourself or whether it be that you're desperately trying to feed and fill your spirit in ways that absolutely do not serve you and only serve to further create sabotage and procrastination like addiction numbing checking out or relentless pursuit of success or relentless pursuit of ambition or relentless pursuit of an idea of figuring it out or getting there or relentless pursuit of doing enough or getting enough done or any of that so all of that's going on and that's your way of life and so you're living every day with the fact that your spirit is not being filled up to overflowing and you're not actually being expressive at all of who you are and who you came here to be. But sure, you're doing a good job of dragging this old meat sack around and maybe like putting a nice filter on it as well. Yay for everyone. Love a good filter. And then on top of it, we've got the fact that the product, the, the service, the thing that you created is matching all of that same sort of scenario in the people who you're selling it to. And so God forbid they actually join up, which is firstly, that'll always be limited when you're doing it this way. It'll just be like a pulling teeth situation to get your sales. No matter what level you're at, some of you make a millions of dollars doing it in a pulling teeth way. That's almost worse than not making any money. I've mentored people at all different levels. I tell you what, you would rather be making less money in a pulling teeth way than more money in a pulling teeth way because then you have to deal with the consequences of what happened to all that money and where it went and it's, it's actually a mess. It's a mess. So flow way or bust, right? Don't even bother. So now you've got to deal with the fact that, God forbid, some of them actually sign up and join, which some will with enough perseverance and effort through that lens. And now you're serving and selling to and trying to help these people who are operating from their surface level stuff, their mind, will, emotions, their fears as well, and their mistaken idea that what they need is a solution or an outcome or a coaching or a teaching on this thing that they don't care about in their spirit and they know they don't actually need and it's not the real thing and it's not lighting them on fire. I mean, well, you're teaching it and you're not lit on fire because you don't even really care about it or believe in it, but sure, you learn a thing or two about it once upon a time and so you're able or capable to join some dots, write a little process and sell it to the person. And everybody's here thinking this is good because it's not like out of integrity per se. It is if you actually understand what you're spiritually here to do. But it's not like trying to cheat someone or lie or anything like that. It's teaching knowledge, application, information, transformation theoretically as well. But what kind of transformation, right? Really what it's doing is it's teaching the person to move a bit further along on the pathway that's off path that they're already on while you move a bit further along on the pathway that's off path that you're already on. And then you'll just have a pizza party together at the end of the year. Sounds great. You must start waking up right now fully if you're not already and make it a choice, a daily choice and a habit to wake up to who am I really and who am I really here for? Who am I really and who am I really here for? Who am I really and who am I really here for? Who am I really and who am I really here for? You got to go broad to see the scope of who it is that you are now and then bring it back into the here and now to go, boom, this is how she shows up in her marketing. This, no, no, no. This, you get it or you don't get it. Don't try and make it make sense to the people who it doesn't make sense to. 
yeah? Including Siri. <laughs> but you, you, you got to opt out completely. You got to stop trying to figure out why can I not get this surface level stuff that doesn't reflect the depths, the rawness, the truth of who I am on that spirit level. Why can I not get more sales of that? Let me figure out how to get more sales of that. Are you picking up what I'm putting down? Am I making sense? Somebody tell me something because I see some love hearts floating up. Tell me, tell me, speak, replay, let me know. You got to start opting out of how can I get more sales or more growth or more progress through this lens of this is not even who I freaking gave me to be. And the truth is I just want everyone to shut up. I don't even have to talk about all this stuff. Yes, thank you. Right? So stop trying to make something that's not right work better. Stop trying to make something that's not right work better. Stop trying to get more of something that's not your real thing. Stop trying to get more of people who are they're just not your true people. They might be, you know, good people. That doesn't make them your people. Doesn't mean there's anything bad or wrong with them. They're someone else's people. Those They should go their own people. Right? Stop, stop, stop. Stop concerning yourself. Oh, my gosh, the effort, the exhaustion. Thank you, Tiffany. The effort, the exhaustion, the relentlessness, the time input into trying to move this thing along. So meanwhile, because you're not tapped in and you're not operating from spirit truth, which is where it just gets easy because God's working through you and equipped and empowered and you honestly don't even have to concern yourself with anything. Shyla knows. Because you're not doing that, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? You have to concern yourself with everything. Because if God opens the door for you, he's going to keep it open for you. He'll be in charge of taking everything through the door as well. He'll paint the door. He'll do whatever needs doing through and to the door. If you open the door, guess who's keeping it open? Meanwhile, you open 20 other doors all over the place because of fear, doubt, uncertainty, and the fact that things are just not flat out where you know they should be on your path of destiny. And so either in a literal physical sense, like money or whatever, you need things to change. And so you're push, push, pushing, or it's just the quiet desperation of your spirit or repeatedly being betrayed by the fact that you refuse to give permission to be to parts of you that supernaturally already are. And yet you refuse to let them participate in the physical realm. When the reality is the entire physical realm is meant to be those parts of you being manifested, brought through from the supernatural that is actually biblical is God's instruction. And yet what do you do? You refuse to give to permission to be to parts of you supernaturally that always were. And so therefore that quiet desperation, which is the sound of your own spirit breaking on repeat by your betrayal or being worn down on repeat by your betrayal of who you really are results in you all over the jolly place, opening doors left, right and center to try and be something that you never were and that you don't even want to be and to try and produce some kind of an outcome to compensate for the fact that you're simply not saying yes to what's in your spirit. So now you've got doors open jolly all over the place, 20 of them, 30 of them, 50 of them, 100. And then what are you doing? Oh, if only I just had one weekend where I just got everything done. What are you doing? You look like you're up to something naughty. Don't give me that look. Come over here. It's not a child. Everyone stay calm. The dog. Give me the look. I think he's been up to something. Yeah. Come and have a cuddle time. You gonna have a cuddle time? We'll find out. All right? So you got doors open all over the place. 20 doors, 30 doors, 50 doors. They're everywhere. That you open. Oh, yeah. We come and have a cuddle time now. Come here. We can go supernatural you know, ranty, aggressive, at the same time as having a cuddle time. No, I'm not playing. Come here. I can't get up completely. Oh, there we go. We like to have a cuddle. Sometimes we need to have a cuddle, don't we? Sometimes we have to have a cuddle. You little cook, you're being a naughty boy over there. What are you doing? All right. So now you've opened doors left, right and center all over the jolly place that nobody told you to open either because you're freaking out because the results aren't coming in that you need or because of that quiet desperation, which is the sound of your spirit being betrayed by the fact that you repeatedly refuse to give permission to exist, the parts of you who you already supernaturally are. And so that results in you just here, 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 and here, trying to do all the stuff. Oh, if only I had whatever, if only I had whatever, if only I just had a clean slate for a week, then I'd get all these things done. I would build that funnel and I would redo my website. I'll go and have a photo shoot and I'll figure out the templates that I'm going to use now on social media and I'll catch up on all this stuff over here. You don't need to do any of it. None of it matters. None of it matters. None of it matters. None of it matters. 
What matters is you got supernaturally tapped in. You went in and you just started to let through what comes through. And then guess what happens? It's not that things won't be in place. It's not that you don't get a beautiful, stunning website, a vibey social media presence, engagement, whatever. Obviously, the sales, the client flow, the ideal people popping in. But whatever systems or structure is produced that does occur and it will because I got it. My clients have got it. That's what we do. That's, that's what's going to happen when you join me in the Play Life Rule Breaker Society, by the way. You've got just a couple of days left to join. Those doors were going to close in seven minutes from now. And then I just like completely didn't show up for sending any reminders or emails or anything like that over the past day. I was busy with kids and family and then God and flow and stuff. So I've decided to extend till Monday. So you've got till Monday, the Katrina Ruth show.com forward slash play life society. This is six weeks to go from boring and blah to cannot take my eyes off her. This is not about trying to vibe something up or be polarizing for the sake of it or anything like that. This is about let's pull out the part of you who can't not. This is about let's tear it all down and build something actually fun. We just kicked off yesterday. I taught for two hours yesterday on module one and we're going live every single week for a deep dive training like that. But there's a live Facebook group. There's tons of additional um, trainings, curriculums, audios, downloads, fire stuff. We are in this. We've got over 50 incredible women in there, more are joining. Are you meant to be there? You're meant to be there. You're meant to be there. You're meant to be there. This is the business course that you've been waiting for that I even only do one of these business courses a year, one of this style, which is the raw, real, strip it back and let's let come through the supernatural part of you that can't not. And then let's actually understand the practicalities of how that turns into your systems, your structure, your engagement, your social media, your growth, your sales, your marketing, your launching and all of it. So this is everything that you think should be in place in your business come fully through the lens of you tapping into the supernatural human who you really are and letting what's in there out the part that can't not come out and me as the person who has built a multi tens of million dollar business and also mentored hundreds upon hundreds privately and thousands upon thousands upon thousands upon thousands through my groups and programs to do the same me coming in to go this is how we pull it out <laughs> feels good and this is how we then pour it forth, let it forth, and allow it to start working through what is meant to be worked through while you just sit there and be full of you. But the real kind, the one who's all in on the destiny fulfilled because that's what we're doing. Tiffany says jumped in earlier today. So excited. I see a few people here in, in the Play Life Society. So don't miss this. Do not miss this. You are meant to be and you're meant to be and you're meant to be. And if you just know that business is meant to be a different way from what it is now, and that there's something that could just get like switch flicked and snapped through. You have this sense. You just have this sense, you know. You have this sense even as you rearrange all your lists and try and figure out what to do. And now you've got doorways open here, there and everywhere that God didn't open. You did. So now you're the one in charge of keeping them open. So let me just figure out all the doorways. If I run fast enough, I can get through all the doorways every single day. Now you're just a person who's running through doorways in circles. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> right? So if you have this sense that this like it's – you just know, yeah, you can feel it in your spirit. You just know that you're just hurtling along, trying to do all this stuff and produce all of this stuff and stay on top of all of this stuff on the wrong freaking track. And not only that, you're in the wrong realm. You're in the wrong realm. You're in the wrong realm. You're in the wrong world of entrepreneurs. You're looking through the wrong lens and you're trying to produce outcomes through the wrong realm, which is to say the physical realm, which is meant to be an assistant to the supernatural, the spiritual realm. And what's meant to be happening is you're meant to be bringing through who you already are, who you already are for who you're really here for and for what you're really here for. So if you have this sense that there would be a way if you could just put your finger on it or if you could just jump off the freaking train over here, there would be this way to just boom, ground in to something where all of a sudden it just bubbled out out of nowhere. See, I'm doing a new thing. Watch, it comes forth even now. This is one of my favorite scriptures that's in Isaiah. I mentioned it on our training yesterday. The thing is, what that scripture is talking about and just any sort of real manifestation truth that you want to learn about, which is to say the God way, is the fact that it's already there and it's already done. You're already that person who mentors, coaches and supports or impacts or whatever it is that you want to do. Those people in that way, doing that kind of work with these kind of outcomes and situations going on all around you, it was never meant to be that you try and build it, get there, push your way there, work your way there, figure it out and climb there or keep all these doorways open and then perpetually open new ones because you're trying to catch up with something that simply can't be caught when you keep operating fully in the physical in that way. 
and maybe you drop in now and again into your true inner knowing into your spirit etc and you have that certainty that excitement that flow that connectedness to god and truth but the question is is that something that you just drop in on now and again like a special ice cream outing on a sunday or something and it's probably not even once a week or is that a way of life for you because it actually is supposed to be a way of life. Are you going to really clean your feet right now on the live stream? Is that what's happening? I can't help it. Yeah. Because it's meant to be a, a way of life. It is meant to be a way of life. It is meant to be a way of life. It is meant to be a way of life. It is meant to be literally that you live your life and particularly with your business that you create it through that lens of this is just how it is. All of that stuff can take a back seat. I am going to now go into the full connectedness of the vision of who I really came here to be and who I'm really here for and what I'm really here to do. And then everything else follows and flows from that, not towards it, from it, not towards it, from it, not towards it. So some of you, and if this is speaking to you, need to stop, drop and roll into God's truth in your own spirit. Go find him where he's meant to be and get him there. Ask him to be there. Let him in there. And be willing to wait and be patient to allow the perfect, complete, finished whole product of what already supernaturally is to come through. You cannot produce or create or step forward into who you're meant to be and what you're meant to do. And the outcomes physically, be it money, impact, service, whatever it is, that are there for you while you keep rushing around, opening and closing doorways everywhere and trying to figure things out and trying to throw things out and put them out when what you're meant to be doing is being connected to what is true for you and then it naturally starts to come through. But the reality is that some of you as well, let's, a lot of people here need to just pause and be willing to connect to the true allness of what's actually currently already shown for you and then just start saying yes and understand that it supernaturally is already complete. And if you really want to understand this, this is exactly what I'm teaching in the Play Life Society. I'm teaching you how to understand fully, completely and wholly what is already supernaturally available for you and who you already are. And then I'm teaching you exactly how to say yes to that, how to understand the spiritual aspect, the supernatural aspect of saying yes to it such that it becomes your physical reality. And then I'm teaching, showing you <laughs> and working with you on exactly how that now gets implemented and activated more so because it's not a building thing, it's an activation thing into your current business and money reality such that there's an immediate change and an immediate, uh, like immediate response that comes through. It comes through. Where does it come through from? It comes through from the supernatural. So it actually comes through already fully formed. Is just how you respond that causes it to occur and appear that way. Do you get it? Does it make sense? So it's not, and it was never meant to be go and build and grow and figure out the thing. He's now licking my arm. <sighs> I've got a nice arm. It is what it is. And the other thing I was saying is that, um, what was I saying? Some of you, though, you actually already know what you would be saying and putting out there and how it would be if you were just relaxed into the vibe of being fully you. Well, you have at least the idea of it. You, the truth is, if you're not doing it, like literally now, even if you've done it previously, if you've dropped that and you've started going back into the thinking and the mind and the try and build the thing thing, you will at least you have some ex experience and idea. So you've got the vibe, let's say, but you never actually know. Look, I can't know before I come on this live. I just chose a title randomly for the live because it was a sentence I had said to a private client on a Voxer earlier relevant to a specific question of hers for her 50k offer and it was just a part of a journal prompt stuff that i was giving us and i'm like cool that's the title for the live stream right oh storm alisa is watching us storm alisa is there she's watching he doesn't care baba what you doing you can't send a request to me in my video baba it's not gonna happen my daughter's requesting to me in my video no this is a video of me and storm Storm cleaning his toenails for all to see. So you can, like, I just chose the title, right? It doesn't mean I knew all the different things that God's going to flow through me today as I'm talking to you because I just, I didn't know. And if I would have sat there and tried to think about it, I would have just then sat there and had a coffee and talked to myself completely out of showing up because I would have felt like, oh, well, I'm not sure. And is that really a good idea? Do people want to hear that? Maybe I don't feel like it. I don't freaking feel like it half the time. Most of the time, I don't feel like it. Plenty of the time, I don't feel like it. There is no way I'm letting you on the live stream, mate. Could be anything going on there. <laughs> my daughter, let me join, madre. <laughs> Are we Spanish now? Is that what's happening? At the very least, you could speak in German. Not letting you on. 
Nobody gets on the live stream without prior arrangement, including one's own spawn. Isn't that right, Storm? Storm, Alyssa is watching you. She watching you. She loves you. So my point is, even if you have experience with being tapped in and letting the true message vibe and flow come through you, that doesn't mean you actually know what it would be in this moment. You don't. You can't actually fully answer the spirit. Uh, answer the question: Who are you really, and what are you here to let through, or what are you here to do, or what is the teaching for today, or the message today, or the marketing for today? Because if somebody didn't catch on yet, this is my message. It's my teaching. It's it's fuel to my own spirit. It's a vibe, a little time for me and stop. And it's also my marketing today. And it's also me inviting you, in fact, telling you you're meant to be there. The Play Life Society. I just extended through the weekend. I felt to extend through the weekend. It's definitely not going to go further than that. I'll give you a little leeway for the fact that I dropped the ball and didn't send out any emails or anything that it was final door closing time. So I've extended a little bit and I've extended through the weekend for the fact that I'm not going to be getting on on Sunday or asking anyone on my team to get on on Sunday and turn off sales pages. So you're going to have now till Monday. It's only a couple of days. You're meant to be in, you're meant to be in, you're meant to be in. This is six weeks live with me. It is an absolute heck yes, no brainer price point. Because about once a year, something comes through me that is so raw, so re reflective of me currently stripping stuff down, tearing it all down and rebuilding to the next level of fun, flow, faith and certainty and what it's meant to be. And so I do that alongside you, show you how I'm doing it, take you. This is a fully behind the scenes of what's going in, on in my business life, money, etc. So that's pretty cool. I only do that about once a year, if even that. And this is a full stripping down and tearing off, but it's the effortless, supernaturally equipped flow way, what's not meant to be there, and a bringing through of what is meant to be there, such that it's snapped in, now it's activated, now into your business. You will never do a course that is this much a marriage of the supernatural that is so real in your spirit that it is shocking with nearly every sentence that I'll pour out at you. And we had two hours worth of it yesterday on our first big module one training. So we have one big deep dive training a week and then in between other stuff, live group, you name it, get your place. You are meant to be there. The com forward slash play life society. Monday's the final extension, final extension, final extension. And then it's done. And then it's very unlikely that I will ever run it live again because I typically don't do that. I switch to home study. So you'll be able to join at home study in six weeks after it's finished. You're meant to be in there. You're meant to be doing this with me, yeah? Like alongside me, you got access to me, coaching, you name it. I am all in, baby. Get in there, do what it takes to get in there. TheKatrinaRithShow.com forward slash Play Life Society. So I feel like I left a sentence unfinished. The sentence that I was sort of, or the thought that was unfinished was along the lines of, you may know what it feels like to be tapped in and to share that true truth, that you truth, that fire and flare that nobody else could be putting out into the world. But firstly, if you do know and you're not doing it consistently, that's kind of on you because you, you, like spiritually, once you know something, you know. So what the frick are you doing if you know that and then you're not doing it, yeah? But secondly, you're talking yourself out of showing up in the fullness of who you are because you're trying to make sense of maybe a past version of you who's tapped in and let some power flow through. And now you're trying to like make sense of it in your mind to bring it back. That's not going to work because you're in your mind. You need to go into your spirit to let what's in there out. You can't let what's in your spirit out through your mind, even though your mind can be a helper. Okay. So that might be going on. Or secondly, you feel like I've lost it. Well, I had that period where I was super in flow or this thing was going on in my life, or that thing, or whatever, and you just feel you're just not there. You're just not quite there. You're aware that you're on this train that's hurtling along down the wrong path, trying to do all the things. You know that it shouldn't be that. And then what are you doing? You're getting up every day and perpetuating a life that's led by fear, doubt, uncertainty, insecurity, overwhelm, or just like an addictedness to the do hustle. You have to be willing to pull the emergency cord and stop. And one of the biggest things you need to understand, though, that we all need to understand and that I get to remember this lesson on repeat for myself is it's not going to be once you somehow wake up ready and the flow is already pouring forth from you. Sometimes it is like that. And that's a blessing. Thank you, Lord. But a lot of the time, it's the discipline of turn on the freaking camera, start writing the thing, say the thing, put yourself in the space. Do you know how you know for sure that what I'm telling you is God truth? Like it's truth. Because whenever you're in a conversation with a client or a friend where that part of you that's spiritually tapped in takes over and God starts coming through and your own inner knowing starts coming through, then you're fine. And in fact, you're carried away with what you're meant to be carried away with for you and you just, you're in it, right? Why? Because you had no choice because that client call was booked with that one-on-one -on -one call or because it wasn't even about choice. It was the fact that you were in a vibe conversation with a friend or a loved one. And that's the kind of conversation that happens with that person. 
the only reason all of that's not coming through across all of your business as your core form of marketing messaging and showing up is because you're just not making it a requirement because you think you have a choice not to because it's not like required so what if it just was required what if you just decided this is this thing is done like i'm not concerning myself anymore with how my whatever's going to grow or how i get more sales in my thing or what is the plan or the process or the formula i yes understand that there should be an element of structure and systemization and things that just work of their own accord automation of income and other things but i'm smart enough at this point to understand that that doesn't come by me trying to figure it out it comes from it comes by virtue of the fact that i say yes that i put myself in the space of letting what god is meant to pour through me through that i do the work that i'm meant to do in my own secret quiet time to be restored to be renewed to be filled up right and that I then put myself in the chair and I start to write the thing, say the thing, pour forth the thing. I realize it's not about me. I don't try and predict it or plan it or know in advance all the things I'm meant to say because that's not the kind of person I came here to be. And I finally admitted it. This is what you need to be saying to yourself. And then as you do that on repeat, what will occur is you will start to see through the fact that you are continually moving into flow, you will look back or around or you'll just realize, oh, huh, there is a bit of a system here, huh, what if we just took that thing over there or that thing over there and we just plop it over there and that deals with that thing that I thought was going to be so difficult to bring to life, that's how it goes, that's one way that it goes, so you take what you need from this, if you come along on the replay, leave me a comment, let me know what most spoke to you, I would love to hear, I'd love to hear, I'd love to hear, and the Play Life Society, baby, this is six weeks live with me, we've just kicked off a few days ago, you're still going to get a full six weeks because I just always add more time to everything I do. So we're only a few days into week one. So you're definitely going to get that full time with me. This is an absolute heck yes, no brainer price point. Around about once a year, I go through a transition period in my own business money and life where I start tearing everything down. I get super excited about just, you know, the renewal and the refreshing and they're like, oh, let's get into the guts of it and bring through the new thing. And so that's this period in my life right now. And so usually when I go through that sort of raw strip it all down period, I create some of my best programs during this time because it comes from that place of me being in that raw, unapologetic, tapped innedness, yeah? So this is that course for this year. It's going to close. It's going to close. It's going to close. The doors were supposed to close 10 minutes ago. I dropped the ball on the final email marketing and whatnot. And so I decided to extend. And because it's the weekend, that means I've extended through Monday. That's the absolute last chance. This is the absolute last chance you're meant to be in the Katrina Show.com forward slash play life society. Let's tear it all down and build something actually fun. Six weeks. We're going to go from like, honestly, so just exhausted and over most of it, bored with yourself, realizing that you're not putting out what's meant to really come out from you, because how can you, when you're coming from that place of thinking, thinking and opening all the doors yourself, going to go from the boring and blah, like what even is this? Is this how business and life is meant to be? And you really know it's not to just being supernaturally charged, activated, on fire, and being the person who, to like through whom the flow just comes, through whom God just speaks, through whom supernatural, like all of it, equipping, empowerment, every last bit of it is just done, taken care of, and being demonstrated as you say yes to who you're meant to be and to your true purpose in God. The purpose work that is meant to come through you will make itself known to you. You will see it. You will show it. You will demonstrate it. It will pour forth. It will be impossible for anyone who is for you to not recognize that. Jillian, amazing. Happy birthday. Jillian just said my birthday is Monday. I think this is my birthday gift to myself. Yay. But do you see it? Like you see what happens, right? I just come on here and I let what I'm meant to come out, come out. It's not up to me. Every morning I honestly pray, God, not my way, but yours, not your will. But, uh, uh, oh, I'm saying it backwards. Oh, no. oh my gosh. Not my, not my way, but yours, not my will, but yours, not my, like I make myself willingly a living sacrifice I hand over my rights. This is not a hard thing to do when you actually understand. Why would you want to be the one opening all the doors yourself and doing it all yourself? That's madness. That's exhausting. We did it that way already. No, thank you. I already tried that system. I don't care for that system. I want the system where I'm supernaturally equipped and empowered and where I'm being the vessel that I came here to be and that I'm being used for a higher purpose that transcends me. That's the system I want. And FYI, I also want the system where God's the one opening doors in my business, money and life. And so therefore he's keeping them open. I don't want the system of having to do it all myself. That's not what I was born for. That's not what I was made for. 
that is exhausting to the soul, the psyche, it's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking, it's irresponsible, it's a travesty, and it's not how business is meant to happen. Not for us. I don't believe for anyone, but that's another story, yeah? So some of us are just that person where when we start letting it out, there is a response that occurs in the heavenly realm, and the things that are already for you, that are already complete supernaturally, see, a new thing is being done, watch, they spring forth. They can't not because you're actually moving forth in faith. You're actually moving forth and declaring it. You're actually moving forward, forth and believing. Yes, thank you. Amen. It's already done. Whether or not I see you here physically, what's that got to do with anything? It's not what I see. It's what was said. I'm on, I'm on a, I'm on a accidental. I was just about to say goodbye and now suddenly we're approaching. <laughs> okay. But you got to understand in the same way that if my message is for you and there was something that you needed to hear today that like God sent for you to hear today through me and it just spoke truth into your spirit and there was a resonance there and your human mind doesn't necessarily understand all of it and just doesn't even need to. In the same way that you have that response to me that when you just say yes and you allow yourself to be that vessel and you put yourself in the space and that's where discipline comes in. Yeah, the discipline is me turning on the live stream because I just got home. I like, honestly, my day went crazy today and I didn't even eat, which is fine. Like I fast any time, well, fast any time God tells me to anyway, but I also have done plenty of fitness-based fasting in the past. So I don't mind, but I had a very active day. I also completely lost use of my left hand through nerve compression. Don't worry, it's fine. It's being healed even now. But I can't use that. I can't use that. Oh, just, there we go. Yeah, it's coming back. It'll come back in a few days fully. I've had a massive day, great day, flow day, wonderful day, epic day, delightful day. But the point is, when I got home just now, I was freaking hungry. I ate something and sat in the sun. I could have easily make a coffee, read my book. And I live right on the beach, go sit on the beach. And I would do that if that's what I felt led to do. I'm not saying I'm always going to be the person like doing the you know, piece of content. But I knew that there was something that needed to come through today. So the discipline bit is just so easy. Do you understand that discipline is a gateway to flow? The discipline bit is literally just me writing some rando title, which is the last sentence that I spoke on Voxer to a client. That's about as far as my thinking goes. Writing the title and pressing go live. And the hardest part is setting up two tripods because I'm on Facebook and Instagram at the same time and getting the cameras lined up with each other. That's the hardest bit of my entire business, which is a like a multi-decker million dollar business. That sounds fancy. A multi tens of million dollar coaching business, which is one of my businesses, which I spend, I don't know, usually a few hours a day on, not a whole lot of time. Some days I have a huge big flow creation day, but I got other things going on in my life as well. Praise the Lord. That's the main thing that's going on in my life. That is the predominant time, the, the dominant place where my time goes, I would say, and parenting, I guess. And then fitness and, and then business, probably. I don't know. I don't even track the time, but I'm just saying loosely. So the most difficult thing for me is the fact that I say yes to turning the thing on or to begin writing the thing or go, yeah, I will create that thing. You know, I could have easily had this random thing come through me, the Play Life Rule Breaker Society. What is even that? I could have let fear, doubt, uncertainty stop me or a lack of discipline to just start writing and let the thing be written through me. Do you understand what that what I'm telling you right now is the secret to my entire business? The entire thing. 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 Every bit of it. Every last bit of it. Yes, there are other bits of it that I did in the other way. Those are the bits that didn't work. Those are the bits that just cost me like time, money, whatever. And well, let me a lesson. So it's fine. And now it just gets better and better because God is fully rightfully at the center. And so that's it. That's the whole story. You can do this as well. That's what, it's only what you were made for. You were not made for trying to build a thing. You were not made for trying to open doors yourself and hold them open all over the place, left, right and center. You were not made for that. You were not made for that. You were not made for that. You're right about who you are. What you know about your identity is correct. You got it right. You're accurate. But you only know this tiny little bit because guess what God's got for you? A dream, a vision, a plan, a destiny path that's written that you should follow. You should follow it. How do you follow it? You just start saying yes. And part of that is you just start saying, oh, oh, no thank you. <laughs> to that stuff over there that you've been giving your life for. That you just deep down inside of you have actually known the whole time that's not the thing that's going to grow. It's just not. But somehow you still stay on that train. You just can't seem to get yourself off. Well, guess what? You can get off the moment you decide. That's a choice. So so if you want to work with me, right now is the very best time to do that. 
the Play Life Rule Breakers Society, doors are closing. I've extended through Monday. That's it. That's the absolute final chance. TheKatrinaRuthShow.com forward slash Play Life Society. If you do have a question, just DM me about it. Happy to answer your question. This is a heck yes, no brainer price point. This is a low cost price point for a full six weeks live with me. It'll be a little bit more than six weeks because I always go a little bit more on anything that I do. We're teaching deep dive live trainings every single week as our core deep dive module for the week. So yesterday we have module one, so it's waiting for you. It's two hours of absolute flow and also application for how you then bring through from the supernatural such that there's an activation and a switch flick in the, in the practicalities of your business. And we, we literally just started. So you've got prep work, pre-work, and then you've got module one training. And so we've got a core deep dive training live in the group each week. The times change week by week to account for the fact that most of my clients are not on the time zone that I'm on. They're all around the world. So I keep that in account. And of course, all the replays are there. And then there's additional in between those trainings. It's a live course as well. So that means it's a live Facebook group that I'm in. And we're just, we're just leaving the station. So you're supposed to be in. You know if that's you. TheKatrinaRuthShow.com forward slash Play Life Society. Let's tear it all down and build something actually fun. More importantly, let's let who you always were out because at some point you just need to go, you know what? Now I'm going to give in to being who I came here to be. Have an amazing rest of the day or evening, wherever you are in the world. I'm going to finally go get that coffee that I could have sat down and had instead of being here with you. So imagine if I never said yes to what I know is true for me. And imagine if you just started saying yes to what is true for you. Do not forget, life is now. Press freaking play.